Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to update your Techno Parrot on your Kinhank 5-in-1 drive. The update actually can apply as well to the old drive, except obviously the folder structure. Now, I already updated it but uh, when I was previously recording, but OBS decided not to capture my microphone. These things happen, so I'll walk you through the same process, but obviously I am updated. So, we go to Super Game HDD. This is for the 5-in-1 drive. Core type or we're gonna to go to collections, computers, ROMs, and then uh hyperspin techno parrot, emulators folder, and then techno parrot. It is a ridiculously long journey here. And then you're gonna open up Techno Parrot UI. So I would personally recommend if everything seems to be fine, yeah, I because I already updated. If everything seems to be fine with your techno parrot. Leave it for the time being. Maybe update it down the line because Technopart has so many uh, issues. It's it's ridiculous, trust me. Uh, and it's not just on Kinhank. It's it's a really finicky piece of software. But anyway, what you will get is an update option up here. It'll tell you you need to update. You click here, and then right up here will be update. Press or press update, and then another menu will pop up. And in fact, I'll actually show you it here because I still have that recording, just not the audio. And you'll notice um, I'll get a fail option on one of the items, but I just clicked update again and it worked. Now that you've that done, you're updated, it'll shut down, it'll restart, and you'll see you are up to date. The next thing is, how do we change our controls? So if you've got an arcade stick, you don't want to use your Xbox controller. Pick the game you want to uh, change, so say Batman. We're highlighting Batman, as you can see here, and we're going to go down to Controller Setup. And just click on this, and obviously press the button that you want it, you know, for Start, Break button, Fire button, etc., and then save the settings. And this is only for each individual game. That's the cool thing about this. You can scroll down here and pick a certain game and completely change its configuration compared to other games. And that's what I like. It's very easy. It's very useful. And Technopower is actually really good. It's a great emulator. It just can be finicky at times. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. And as always, have a lovely day.